Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. So I made a video saying that women are actually not crazy, they're actually just being triggered. And you know, a lot of men don't understand that, so this video is for you men. So I'm gonna tell you right now, when you betray your woman, she's gonna have some triggers attached to that betrayal, right? And triggers can be anything from a song, you know, a smell, a word, or a particular place. So for example, when my ex cheated on me with some girl he met at the bar from that night, anything that happened that night is gonna trigger me, right? He was wearing his Mercedes cologne that night, Trigger, find a new cologne. Word, her name was Denise. Don't be bring, don't have any friends named Denise. Don't be bringing up Denise. And a particular place, the bar. He was not no longer able to visit the bar. And those are triggers. Triggers are just caused by a strong emotional reaction that makes you and reminds you of the betrayal. Those are what triggers are. Yeah, I really don't care. If I want to go to a bar, I'm going to go to a bar. Those are your triggers. That's great. You were always the side chick. You knew he had a girlfriend and you didn't care. What do you think her triggers are? You were fine when he was cheating on her with you. And now you're complaining he did the same to you. I'm sorry, but if it's sympathy you're looking for, you're not going to get any. At least not from me. You guys exactly how to finesse men and take all their money just from bullying them. Don't listen to the that are like, oh, fandom's an art, it takes time, you're not gonna make money on the first day. Let's as a whole think about for a second how easy men are. Doesn't take that much hard work. My first day, I made a little over 350, my second day, I made over a thousand, and my third day, I made another 700. So you can only imagine how much money I'm making now. On the daily, and you can too. You really just need to know the names to call them and the attitude to have. Make a Twitter, use the name goddess or princess or queen, whatever, before your name. You can use a fake name or your real name. Post pictures of your feet and face, nothing that makes you uncomfortable. And these guys will start DMing you. Goddess, I'll send you $100 to see your feet. Goddess, what can I do to serve you, goddess? And that's why you have a tribute in your bio. So before you even respond to these DMs, you already have in your bio $35 tribute, $25 tribute. So they know how the game works. They know that you're not going to respond until they send that tribute. Don't be giving any man anything they want until they pay first. Payment first, always. Say it with me. Payment first, always. Okay, you wanted me to guess how much money you make right now? Judging by the size of your apartment, you're making peanuts. My bathroom is bigger than your room. Make a Twitter account and do something. That's yours. And you have 249 followers. With those many followers, you're also making peanuts. Funny enough, there's so many sims out there more than willing to give you money. But then again, it's you. The only one you're finessing are your followers on TikTok. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you just don't live rent-free inside my head. My tweets aren't about you, my captions aren't about you, my TikToks aren't about you. And if the shoe fits, wear it, I guess, but just remember who's living inside whose head rent-free. If the shoe fits, wear it. Well, that's great, Cinderella, but you keep making videos about him. Who's living rent-free inside whose head? Well, even if there weren't any other videos, you still made this one. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this one. The peace that you feel from learning a dating strategy that works for you and makes you realize how much fun dating brings to your life. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, let me guess, you're a dating coach. Uh, what do you know? I was right. But no, I see what you're doing. You're going for curiosity. And that would have worked fine when I was six, asking all those stupid questions. Hey, what's that? Well, that is the moon. Hey, what is a moon? Hey, shut up. And then I had to go on TikTok and find out what is a moon. And lo and behold, it's something that it's right rising in April because it's Aries season or something. And suddenly everything made sense. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We were lucky back then we didn't have TikTok and things actually made sense. My point is she's actually going for curiosity. Hoping men will be, hey, I wonder what makes dating so fun in her life. Let's ask her. She's obviously a dating coach. Lucky for me, I'm not six and I'm not that curious anymore. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls have boundaries and cut people off who don't respect them. How would you know? No, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, what about the not so gorgeous, gorgeous girls? They don't have boundaries? Is that what we're trying to say? This guy is coming over tonight and it's like 10 p.m. He's just messaged me that he's on his way, but he's forgotten his lunch for work tomorrow. So I thought, why not show him that I... You know, I'm not just lazar, I can be housewife material, and I'm gonna surprise him with lunch. 
It's more, I'm a really bad cook, so this year. What I've just realised as well is I don't even have a Tupperware box. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to put it on a plate with some tin foil and be like, do you want to take it to work on the tube like this? I'm just going to do chicken and rice and veg because, like, he goes to the gym, so it's kind of healthy. And, you know, who doesn't like chicken and rice? Oh, my God, what am I doing? Is this how you do it? <laughs> this is the rice that I've made, but the thing is I've actually burnt it. Like, look at that. Chicken, I feel like I'm just going to say it's not burnt, it's char-grilled. It's actually quite oily, so I'm going to pat. I mean, I feel like that's what you do, right? I mean, realistically, he's just going to get a prep. But it is the thought that counts, okay? So... Yes, it is. I'm going to give you that, but that doesn't look edible. So maybe next time you're going for a nice gesture, just put on some lingerie and wait for him by the door when he comes in. You do that and probably he's going to be more than happy to cook. But if you're really going for food for some reason, just stick to a sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this one too. Don't cry over him, baby girl. You could literally pull his entire friend group. When did pulling his friends became a flex? But sure, you can pull his entire friend group. You pull, they push. Good for you. Then what? Then they're all gonna be laughing at you, including the guy that you're crying over, and you're still gonna be crying. And if you are listening to this type of advice from TikTok, then I can't pretend even for a second I feel sorry for you. Everything, and I mean everything that you need to know about the guy that you've just started dating is by asking him what is your favorite movie. You will glean everything you need to know about him by asking what is your favorite movie. First of all, they're the Wolf of Wall Street guys. We all know those guys. You know everything you need to know. Then there's the Marvel, Transformers, Star Wars, Spider-Man guys. We all know everything we need to know already about them. You have the Godfather guys. And it's gonna be a big Italian family, a lot of Sunday dinners. Like, you know what you're getting. You have the guys that say Forrest Gump, and you're like, did you have no other answer? Are you boring? You have the guys that are gonna say Toy Story, The Incredibles, Up, and the like, Disney, Pixar, for nostalgia. And they're gonna be too close to their moms, and it's gonna be a problem. And then you're gonna have the guy that's gonna be like, anything directed by Greta Gerwig, like I love giving women opportunities, and then you're screwed, okay? So ask him, what is your favorite movie? And based on whatever he answers, you know what you need to know, and then you can get the fuck out in a timely manner. You're welcome. No, and your entire point is invalidated by two words, Sin City. Hey boys, if you can't afford to date, then um, just don't date. I see the craziest videos on TikTok sometimes of girls talking about how they get a Venmo request after a date or they go on a date and they split the bill, which I already think is a mistake. And then the man messages them afterwards to say like, oh, you know, you added avocado or you had a cocktail and it was more than my beer, or like something like that and like asking for money. And the most hysterical part about this is that I know these are the same men that are probably like starting podcasts or making stupid videos about how they wish that they had like a traditional submissive uh, woman. <laughs> so honey, here's the thing. If you do not have the financial means to take a woman on a date, then do not ask her on a date. You cannot afford to take someone out. Stay home. And girls, stop going on dates with men who can't afford to take you out. You can stay home too. <laughs> Oh well, since you're talking about me, because I make those stupid videos, I'm gonna answer. Even though I'm not looking for nothing. But you are talking about me, so there you go. I'm the type of guy who lists, not buy. Funny enough, I'm also the type of guy who never likes to split the bill. I'm always gonna pay for that bill. But I'm also the type of guy who protects himself from this type of girls. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but let me read this for you. A foodie call is when a woman goes on a date with a man for free food. And the recent study shows that up to 33% of women participate in this phenomenon. I think the study was performed on less than a thousand women, so take it with a grain of salt, but still, it's up to 33%. Regardless if you believe in this study or not, make sure you keep yourself protected when it comes to dating. Guys who are single. Guys who have a girlfriend. No, that is obviously a lie. How do I know it's a lie? Because if you had a girlfriend, you wouldn't even have that coin in your wallet. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.